Hey, today I want to talk about how to design a primer. I want to talk about uh, all the aspects of how to design a primer in one video because it's going to be too long. So I want to break um, one video in a series of videos. And today I want to talk about uh, how to calculate the length of the primer. And uh, probably you may answer it right away is uh, longer it's going to be the better because it's going to be more specific for one particular place but this is this obvious answer is uh, not the correct and I will uh, explain you why and uh, I want to start with uh, law of probability and uh, don't be afraid this is very basic and uh, I promise that this is going to be easy to understand so imagine that we have a coin and we flip it many many times and what is the chances for uh, this coin to land uh, heads and this is uh, obvious answer we have one half chances for heads and one half chances for tails so if we add this this is going to be one so this is a simple example and easy to understand so now I proceed with example of the gene or just uh, uh, random DNA sequence so this is DNA and for example if we have uh, nucleotides here uh, what is the chances uh, that uh, in any particular place would be uh, sum of the four bases and we have uh, bases uh, that is adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. So uh, in our first example we had two surfaces, coin has two surfaces and now we have choice of four different uh, bases. So for example, uh, for this particular place, to have adenine, we have uh, one fourth chances because we have a choice of uh, four bases. For same thing for the second uh, place and third. So uh, let's take, for example, uh, adenine and place it here on the first place. And what are the chances for the second place? Uh, I just want to repeat that we don't know the sequence of this DNA. Uh, so what are the chances for the second place, uh, on the second place to be guanine or cytosine, thymine or adenine? Maybe uh, there's going to be two adenines in a row. So for each of these bases, chances would be uh, the same. This is independent events. For example, if we have A on the first place, it doesn't affect uh, in any way what the next base would be. So we call it independent events. So, uh, for example, for the second place, we would have C. And what is the chances that uh, this particular sequence happens in our genome? And this is going, we can calculate it by... Uh, we put two independent events so we have one fourth chances for uh, first place to be A one fourth chances for the second place to be C and uh, by the rule of probability we have to uh, multiply these chances of two independent events and what we get is 1 over 16 and we also can notate it as uh, 4 raised in minus 2. So this is uh, the same way just express same thing. So uh, what does it mean that uh, if we have, for example, we have uh, our DNA fragmented in, uh, uh, for example, I can extend it uh, and let's say we have uh, 32 bases here and 16 here so this means that 
uh, in this fragment of DNA with 32 bases, probably our sequence AC would happen twice because as you see here this should be uh, this should happen every 16 bases so it can be any two bases AA, CC, uh, GC, TA it doesn't matter just two bases going to happen uh, in uh, such particular sequence every 16 bases so what if we have uh, uh, for example T here uh, on the third place what uh, how we calculate we just use the same formula one fourth multiplied by one fourth and multiplied by one fourth so this is going to be one over sixty four or four rise minus three and uh, we I want to stop uh, using these small numbers and I want to jump uh, right away uh, you I just explain it and think it's very clear how we calculate uh, uh, our chances for uh, our primer if we design it to be homologous to some random sequence on the DNA and we also should understand that for the most our techniques that we use we need our primer to be very specific only for one place in DNA and for example if we have uh, uh, four base pairs uh, we would have uh, for example 12, almost 12,000 uh, 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 places in our DNA that would be homologous to such sequence and probably such uh, uh, primer wouldn't be useless for our purposes uh, to for example copy one particular sequence or fragment of the DNA or gene so um, I want to show you the minimum uh, length of the primer that we need uh, to be higher specific and happens only once per the whole genome and whole genome is 3 billion uh, base pairs and this is haploid number so we have 23 uh, chromosomes that we got from our mother side and 23 chromosomes that we got from our father side so f together 46 chromosome so a uh, haploid number uh, would be 3 billion base pairs and deployed 6 billion base pairs and uh, we need at least uh, 4 raised 17 so this is going to be 17 billions and if we have primer that is 17 base pairs in length we would be sure that this probably would anneal only to one place in the whole genome so uh, most of the primers are between 17 and 30 base pairs pairs uh, bases and also we can call it uh, 30 mer for example this is the other way to call it and you may also ask why not to make a primer for example 100 uh, base per basis or um, 200 bases so this for sure would be very high specific for one particular place in genome but this is not the correct answer and here is explanation one why uh, for example if this is going to be very long this may form th such structures like uh, probably you saw tRNA that is have uh, self complementary uh, fragments so it forms very um, distinctive three-dimensional uh, shape 
and of course such a primer wouldn't work and imagine another situation where we have a gene and very long primer and on the gene we have uh, two places that are going to be homologous to such a long primer and our long primer may have may anneal like this and this is of course also would disrupt uh, what we plan uh, and uh, we won't get a uh, result that we expect so this not what we want to happen so this is why we usually use this lens of the primer and also when you design a primer I highly recommend you to use to go to the NCBI uh, website and use uh, such program as BLAST and you just uh, have to choose uh, organism of your interest for example if it is human this is going to be Homo sapiens and uh, of course you only can choose uh, from the uh, organisms that were sequenced and you can check your primer that uh, you would be able to say for sure that this is this primer uh, would be very high specific only for one place in the whole genome so this is basically all for today hopefully you find this information new and interesting for you please subscribe to my new videos that I post every day goodbye